I'm Steve Ballmer, CEO of Microsoft. I think the world of software, the internet, technology over the next decade is going to be really quite fantastic. A few things that I think that people are really going to notice. Number one is the way we're going to interact with one another, with information, with technology. It's going to become much more natural. Speech, voice, intent, gestures and video recognition. I think the most important sort of pervasive innovations will really uh, revolve around this topic in terms of the naturalness of the user interface. People still say, I can't get these things to do what I want to do or all of what I think other people can do. And so the ability really to be able to give an instruction to the computer the way you'd give an instruction to the human. You'll say, get me ready for my trip. You won't say file, open, blah, blah, blah. And the computer will know, it'll recognize, and it'll take action. Whether you're at home, on the couch, watching the BBC, on your phone, or on your PC. All of the world of information, and communications actually, will come together. So what we think of as TV today, what we think of as, quote, print today, what we think of as the radio today, even what we think of as voice calls or video calls today will all get transported over the internet and will all be made more interactive, more interesting, more convenient using smart software running in the PC, the phone or the TV, and running in the internet or the so-called cloud. When people talk about cloud computing, it's sort of uh, about talking about the how. The what we're going to do is going to change, but the how of how computers and how software works will change. Instead of having most things in corporate data centers or locked up in your home, the internet will actually be kind of the center of that environment, not just for the new things, but also for the things we've traditionally associated with uh, information technology. Cloud computing is certainly a key driver of the future, no, no question about it. And yet, this is a, like all things in our industry, the ideas are obvious quickly, but the real technology challenges to make them happen can happen over a long period of time. At the end of the day, certainly the internet will be the center of how we virtually interact with each other. We're still going to have physical interactions, but in a sense, a higher percentage than ever before of our interactions may in fact come virtually. Last night, uh, my wife and I had two different events, one for one son, one for the other. How did I keep up with what was going on at the other event, which happened to be my son's basketball game? There was a Twitter feed from one of the parents that kept the scores up to date, and I had the Twitter feed going while I was listening to my son's band conference, uh, 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 concert and, and driving over. So I think this stuff's pretty, pretty important in a lot, a lot of ways.